Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what I got for Christmas haul. I know I'm doing this one a bit late but I was on holiday here over Christmas which I will talk about in a minute. Um, so yes this video is a bit later it was probably gonna go up in February <laughs> so sorry for that and I also have a birthday haul coming up very soon because my birthday was on the 15th of January so that will also be on the way so if you like these types of videos do keep on watching if you don't like these and you think they're bragging or anything like that then you don't have to watch this video but I know lots of people enjoy watching present hauls I like watching present hauls so yes that's what today's video will be do subscribe and keep on watching this is all things from like friends family my boyfriend like all of that um so that's what i'm going to be going through first present is the main present that i got from my parents and if you recognize the box you'll know what this is but a lot of you will know that i am completely obsessed with hot chocolate design shoes and i usually go for the flats because they're so easy to wear and I just love them but I've always wanted to try a pair of their heels and there's been a few of the high pairs that I really really like like the proper high heel and then they also have the mid heels and they bought out a mid heel design that I completely fell in love with so that was my main Christmas present and the mid heels come in this cake box which is so cute and it's got all the layers on it and there's even like a hole for, for a candle and they actually give you a candle in the box like how <laughs> how cute is that and they also give you like spare heel parts for it as well um so yeah i did get some hot chocolate design mid heels i have worn these a bit so i'm not gonna like touch the bottoms of them but this is the pair that i got maybe you are surprised maybe you're not because first of all they are a very like burgundy kind of pink color which isn't usually my thing um i usually prefer red or like i'm not really like a pink person but i completely fell in love with this like vampire girl design she's got like red eyes she looks really cool really creepy and i love this pattern that goes all the way around them and the thing that really sold it to me was this lace that goes all the way around i just think it's such a pretty detail and they do have really thick padding inside which hopefully you can see that and then the heel size is like that so it's still like a good size but this is classed as like their mid heel compared to their like high heel <laughs> so yeah that was my main present i absolutely love them i've worn them quite a few times as i said they are probably the most comfortable pair of heels that i own after a while like you start to feel it like any heels but I walked around like a shopping centre outside in them which usually I wouldn't even try with heels so if you would like a full review on them do let me know in the comments. I've reviewed a lot of the flat shoes so it gets a bit repetitive if I reviewed all of them but if you would like a mid heel review then I can definitely do that just let me know in the comments and also let me know if you'd like a hot chocolate design collection. I feel like that might be fun. <laughs> you let me know if you'd like to see those in the comments. But that was my main Christmas present. As I said, I did go to America for Christmas to actually stay with my boyfriend over there. So that's where I spent Christmas. Um, so these are all kind of presents given to me like before and after, which is why like this video is late because I actually arrived home on the 14th of January. <laughs> so yeah, that's why this is later. I also got an advent calendar which might seem random but because I didn't have one at Christmas my sister thought that I should have one which I really really liked um so yeah it's got all the doors it is a hotel chocolate advent calendar and they're really really cute they're like in shapes of snowmen and stuff so cute <laughs> so yeah I will definitely enjoy that um, I also have a tote bag which I really like. This actually matches the pyjamas that I hauled probably a few months ago now. Um, and this is a Nightmare Before Christmas tote bag. Um, I might actually use this today because I'm going to the post office. So it would kind of match my outfit. <laughs> um, I do have my Nightmare Before Christmas bows in. But this is a, as I said, Nightmare Before Christmas tote bag. It's got Jack and Sally. It says seriously spooky on it. And it's a really like nice thick tote bag. It's not one of those flimsy ones. Like you can't see through it or anything. So 
really really love this as i said might take it today <laughs> so i did get that i also got some pins from mysticum luna and these are some that i've been after for such a long time so i'm really pleased to have them and i also got to see their new packaging because i hadn't actually seen that before so the first one is a hello queen pin these are some of their kind of newest pins that they have brought out maybe they were in their pin description um, but this is a Hello Queen pin. There's also this one, which, which is a planchette. And this is a really nice detailed one. And this is a black and white enamel. And this is a black and orange enamel. I saved the best one till last. This is a Plague Doctor pin. He's got like a red eye. And he's a black and silver enamel pin. Very, very cute. So I absolutely love all of these i mean i love everything but i do love a plague doctor <laughs> i got a candle which smells insane this was from a friend and this is in the scent cookie butter um this was on my etsy wish list because it's got kind of photos of biscoff i really can't open this okay i got it <laughs> um so yeah i really like this one because it's got biscoff photos all around it and i am addicted to biscoff i just i love it so much <laughs> so as you can see it's kind of got like the biscuit looking ones and then like the biscoff spread and it smells incredible so i do have this this is from a small business called small world candle company as you can see they are on etsy i have talked about them in my christmas gift guide um for two years now i think they're a really good candle company and they also do some spooky candles too if you like nightmare before christmas ones i also got a konjac sponge i love a sponge <laughs> and this is from the body shop and it's actually a black sponge which is really cool it kind of looks like this i really like konjac sponges for my face they're like super soft and very very nice i also got another tote bag and this is a witch one from a friend which is very cute and it is personalized so it says double double toil toil and trouble and then it says my name on it which is super cute I always do with more tote bags because with the amount i post <laughs> i also got a lush bath bomb this is twilight and it does say new formula so i haven't tried it since the new formula so i would be interested to see what it's like it still kind of smells the same it smells a little bit different but it does mainly smell the same there's like the pink one with the moon and stars on i also got this very adorable pin badge again from a friend from the littlest spook shop and this is the trick or treat club pin it's such a detailed pin they're basically trick or treaters all dressed up differently super cute so this is from the littlest spook shop i also got some underwear but it's in the wash right now and i'm not sure that i'd 100% want to show you my underwear on camera so <laughs> I did get some of that but as I said it's in the wash and that might be a bit weird to show you um I also got a planner I absolutely love this this was like such a good present idea um it says staying social a social media planner journal and reflection tool I was kind of looking for a reflection one because that's one of my 2022 goals if you haven't seen that video i'll link it in the eye but one of my goals was to reflect on my instagram posts and kind of see what's doing well and what's not and this is kind of perfect for that so it's got like passwords weekly trackers kind of has like quotes throughout it as well it's got post planner so you can like really plan out your post in all of the detail and also on this page so you can like plan it out and then you can go back to it and think okay what was the likes what was the comments what did well what didn't and that's kind of this checklist down here so this is this was kind of exactly what i was looking for and it's kind of got little things throughout it like little inspirational quotes so this is adorable it does say it's from typo if you're looking for something similar but yeah so i did get this okay so i'm down to my last two items now so i did get some birthday money not birthday money <laughs> christmas money some of it i haven't spent but i did get some from my granddad so while i was out in america they have 
I mean, you're probably not surprised, but they have some amazing shops, both in store, like Hot Topic, and online, like Etsy, and just some other really cool small businesses. And I discovered this brand before I went out there, and I thought I'd really like something from them because they are a makeup brand that's like their whole branding is like vampire black and red so that's kind of right up my street and i saw this palette and it's called the blood queen palette now i will be doing a separate video on these as like a small business review but i'd like to do it when i actually am wearing the makeup um but i will just briefly show you now but i will properly do like a small business saturday video on this but that's what the palette looks like it's very very pretty and this was exactly what I was looking for, like a palette that has colours that I'd actually wear, something that's not full of black eyeshadow because I don't really wear that, and something that has a good amount of red shades in it. So I bought this with my Christmas money, but as I said, I will do a review on this. The brand, I forgot to say, is Motet's damn i'll put the name on the screen for you i'm really not sure how you say it they do have a pronunciation but i'm still not 100 percent sure um but as you can see like their packaging is super vampire -y. and they also have a new palette out at the moment that says be my vampire instead of like be my valentine and that is a gorgeous palette um so if you like vampire related things and you love makeup highly recommend them because i have i have tried this and it's really good so far so this is the lipstick it is a liquid, I don't know why my camera's not focusing. It is a liquid matte lipstick, that's my favourite kind. And I got this in the shade Vampires. Vampires. hopefully I'm saying that right. I just can't pronounce anything. <laughs> and this is what the shade looks like. It's kind of a burgundy purple, kind of like a vampy kind of colour. I really like the packaging as well, how it's got the gradient there. And it's such a lovely colour. I haven't tried this out yet, so hopefully by the time I do the review, I will have tried it out. Hopefully I haven't missed anything out. If I have, it's not on purpose. I nearly missed my social media planner because I put it away in my drawer. So now I can kind of disperse all this stuff and put it away. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed my Christmas haul. As I said, I will be doing a birthday haul as well. So that will be coming soon. And I also have a special announcement in that video. So do subscribe if you would like to see that. <laughs> but yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Um, do let me know what your favourite item was maybe. Or your favourite thing that you got for Christmas. Or what you did for Christmas maybe. Um, do let me know in the comments. Do like and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.